Hey, this is Ash. I'm going to show you my laser scanner from my Neato XV11 that uh, I just tore apart completely. Uh, from what I can gather, I tore it apart farther than anyone else has so far. Uh, I pulled the circuit board off the back, so you literally can see uh, the imager that's used. I figured out it's made by a company called Panavision. Uh, so let me show you the setup over here and uh, tell you a little bit about it. So here's the uh, the setup. I got a microscope that I use to take a look at the uh, imager once I pulled it off. Uh, and then I, I pretty much just desoldered everything and pulled everything completely apart so I could take a real good look at it and post it online so everyone else can see it. So I built this little setup right here uh, basically to hold the circuit board flat so that I could take it like so and stick it in the microscope. I put this light on the side like that just to illuminate it completely uh, and you know looked at the uh, the die right here and in one of these corners I could see the logo for the company Panavision Imaging uh, so I went online you know searched for Panavision it was real quick once I found it they only make a few line scan imagers and by the package that's on there, uh, I roughly tried to count uh, between the uh, the bonding wires that are uh, on here. Uh, I basically, you know, kind of guesstimated how many pixels there were between, and then counted the number of bonding wires or pads that I could see across here. And my guesstimation was about 1,800. And then I looked online, saw this, you know, 2080 uh, horizontal line. Uh, scanner and figure okay that must be it, the package, everything looks exactly the same. Uh, the Texas Instruments uh, digital signal processor that's right there. Uh, I'll post the data sheet and part number and everything for it online as well. And then here's the uh, the optics right there, the bottom of it. Uh, the round hole in the center is where this uh, slip ring assembly feeds through. Uh, website on there is www.slipring.cn um, yep, and uh, it's their, what's the part number? LPM-04B is in boy, so I'll, uh, I'll post a link for that online as well. There's a circuit board that all this mounts to uh, when it screws through from here into there like that. Uh, on the back of here, it's kind of hard to tell, there's a, a coating on this that looks like it, you know, it obviously is trying to filter out everything except for the wavelength of the laser. I'm not sure what the wavelength of the laser is. When I hold this up to the light, uh, you can see, you know, the reflection right there in my hand holding the camera. Uh, when I hold that thing up to the light, you know, it barely lets anything through. I'm not sure if it's letting red through, it doesn't look like it, or if it's letting just infrared or near infrared through. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'll try to figure that out. I'll get a laser uh, pointer out or something and shine it through, see, uh, see what I can guess from that. Uh, this guy here uh, is basically a plate, Play-Doh, you know, that I stuck the whole thing in so I can put it on there. Uh, if we come over here, so here's the uh, data sheet. That logo right there, Panavision, is uh, what you see on the die itself, which is how I figured out uh, to come over here. Uh, you can see that's the, the model of it right there. And it looks pretty much exactly like that guy right there. So all the specs and everything are here. I'll link all this online. Uh, and let me know uh, what you think. This whole uh, assembly right here, you see these four uh, screw holes that mount to the, the four holes on the back of there. That was actually, uh, there's some kind of glue that they used. So, you know, I think maybe to help keep out dust, but more likely to stop any kind of rotation whatsoever once it's mounted and configured. So putting it back together means I'm probably definitely going to have to figure out uh, how to calibrate this thing. Otherwise, it's probably never going to work halfway decent again, or I'll just have to tweak with this board a whole bunch till I, I get some good readings. Either way, I think I'll have to learn how to use the calibration routines and maybe post something online about that as well. Uh, so that's about it. If you uh, have any questions or anything or want to see any more detailed pictures of this uh, other than what I post below, let me know. Uh, it'll probably be apart for a few days while I mess around with stuff and then I'll uh, put it back together and try to figure out a little more about uh, how to configure it. Thanks for watching.